Hello, I'm Dr. Jay Keener, Chief of Washington University Orthopedics Shoulder and Elbow Surgery Division. Thank you for choosing Washington University Orthopedics for your care. Our goal is to get you back to doing the things you love and WashU's Orthos Care Team is here to provide you with the knowledge you need to succeed as you prepare for surgery and recover after surgery. Our department has a long history of helping patients achieve their goals. We use the latest research and advanced technology to bring you an innovative approach to your surgery and your recovery. Your journey guide will be a helpful tool in your recovery, so please keep it within easy reach for reference at home. Once again, thank you for choosing Washington University Orthopedics for your shoulder arthroplasty surgery. We look forward to providing you with extraordinary care. Thank you for joining Washington University Orthopedics to learn more about shoulder replacement surgery, also known as shoulder arthroplasty. This video series is intended to help you prepare for surgery and plan for your successful recovery. This is the first video of a four-part series. The goal of this video is to discuss shoulder replacement surgery, including what it is and how it works. Other videos in this series cover the medical workup and necessary steps to complete prior to surgery, the events that occur on the day of surgery and during your hospital stay, and restrictions after surgery, important procedures and events to consider after surgery, and optimizing your recovery. So what is shoulder replacement? It's a surgical procedure designed to relieve pain and improve function in patients with shoulder problems or conditions. The primary reason to have a shoulder replacement is to alleviate pain. For most patients, your range of motion and shoulder function should improve as well. A shoulder replacement consists of metal and plastic pieces strategically placed in your shoulder to correct degenerative conditions like osteoarthritis, which is the name for wear and tear arthritis. There are two types of complete or total shoulder replacements. The first is an anatomic replacement. This consists of a metallic humeral head, which is the name of the rounded top of the upper arm bone. This connects with a plastic piece cemented in place to resurface the socket called the glenoid. The most common reason to perform the surgery is osteoarthritis, where there is painful bone on bone contact within the joint. For an anatomic replacement to function well, the rotator cuff tendon should be intact and healthy, and there must be enough bone available within the socket. Another type of shoulder replacement is called a reverse shoulder replacement. It is a type of replacement where the joint is reversed. The ball side becomes the socket and the socket is resurfaced with a ball. This replacement is also made of metal and plastic and it changes the basic mechanics of the shoulder. Due to the altered mechanics of the shoulder after reverse arthroplasty, the deltoid becomes stronger and the shoulder becomes less dependent on the rotator cuff muscles for shoulder function. Unlike the anatomic replacement, the reverse replacement is used to treat a variety of shoulder problems, including osteoarthritis with a rotator cuff tear, failed rotator cuff repair surgeries, rotator cuff tears that are felt to have a low likelihood of healing with surgery, and certain fractures around the shoulder. The reverse replacement is also commonly used to replace prior shoulder replacements that have failed. Both the anatomic and reverse shoulder replacement are very reliable for pain relief. There are slight differences in shoulder function between the anatomic and reverse replacements that your surgeon can't explain. With both surgeries, an active lifestyle is possible and encouraged. Common activities after shoulder replacement include golf, tennis, swimming, hunting, fishing, and lightweight training. Following shoulder replacement, most types of employment are possible, including light and medium physical labor. Shoulder replacements are not designed for heavy physical labor. To learn more about how to prepare for your surgery, watch the next video in this education series.